I think this is one of the cool things. Ancient history isn't studied by architects. They're applying these ideas and principles to the information that they have. So right. They're finding some tools and they're seeing some locks and they're going, okay, this is how they probably chopped up the rock. And rocks. in their and mind, then... engineering is limitless. Come back to the pyramid and you start to realize there's so much more involved in this. That there's evidence of this, of the people that build it having knowledge of the planet, the dimensionality of the earth to a crazy yeah. degree. If you take the height of the Great Pyramid, you multiply it by 42,200, you get the polar radius of the earth. If you take the perimeter length of the Great Pyramid, you measure around the perimeter of it and you multiply that by 43,200, you get the equatorial circumference of the earth. So right now we're in the age of Pisces. And in fact, there's references in the Bible about this. 2,000 years ago was the age of Aries, the ram. So think about another biblical figure that existed. Isaac. Well, yeah, Moses as well, right? Oh, right. He blew the ram's horn. I wonder if that was him trying to talk because he had a speech impediment. <laughs> yeah. so I wonder if like they thought it was a ram's horn, but he was just like, hey.